Welcome back to Casuals Catch Up, and if you're new to MMA News Rhyme, it's pretty much exactly what it says on the tin. MMA News Time Weekly Roundup told strictly in rhyme. So if you enjoy the content, you know what to do. Hit the like, hit the subscribe, and the little bell icon to stay up to date with our daily content. Yes, that includes YouTube content too, and yes, I said daily. So let's get into it. Joseph retired this week. Joseph Benavidez got shown as much love online as Brian Ortega's Instagram stories with Tracy Cortez. Deservedly so, ultimately he may be disappointed for contender fights, but his name on the belt he never could quite stamp. Don't forget he does have a win over the triple champ. And let's be honest, a win against the triple C is a huge one, just like the win of Megan O'Leary. This week another legend decided to hang it up and retire, but just like Benavidez, Carlos Condit's legacy will never expire. Izzy and Rob finally got a date, the biggest rematch in Australasian history, the outcome still very much a mystery. Rob hits hard like Anthony Rumble, they think Izzy's done because he had one stumble. Ask others to go up and await, you wouldn't hear a grumble. Come back to Vittori to show, despite critics, he would not crumble. But moving on, this week Adrian Yana signed a new contract with the UFC. But don't blink because your miss is lightning fast 1, 2, 3. And if you think I'm wrong, just go back and ask Brady Huang. I'm sure he'll probably be singing the same song as me, for sure one to watch in the UFC. For the penultimate topic, it seems like we're slowly coming to the end of the Romero biopic. Phil Davis beats Yoel Romero via a split decision. Being generous would be saying that score would need some strong revision. Davis beat him up for three rounds. One part Yoel got hit with a 1-2 and howled like a hound. It was extremely strange, but not as much as a win for Romero from one judge. That was part deranged. A strong performance from Davis nevertheless, and we have one topic to address. Anthony Smith v Ryan Spann. When Smith won via rear naked choke, it was clear Anthony was not his biggest fan. I think it was just the endorphins flowing rather than tensions were growing because two seconds later from Ryan we saw an embrace despite Anthony two seconds previous screaming in his face. With this convincing win he shows he deserves to be at the top but Rackage won't be an easy opponent to stop. I also like that he made a call out and on the night he left a stamp, one more win and the fight after that he will likely be one to become light heavyweight champ. And you know what to do if you enjoyed the content, please drop that like, please drop the subscribe and make sure you've got that bell icon rung because we upload daily and we do the news round once a week. So enjoy, take care of yourself, peace.